I did not vlog everything that we saw today because I'm going, he actually gave me a lot of ideas of things I want to vlog on my own, so you'll get to see those in the future. And since we saw where Rebecca Schaefer was murdered, I'll show you this is a picture that Scott was sent from Robert Bardo, the man who killed Rebecca Schaefer. This is a drawing of Rebecca Schaefer that he sent. And you can see right there where it says Robert Bardo. And we saw her house. You may not have Bruce Jenner's body, but you can have his exercise program. Truer words were never spoken. Um, I think that's a Black Dahlia reference. So if you can't make it out here to actually take the tour yourself, you can actually buy a really great version that Scott has produced of his tour. I mean, I've actually, he's done them over the years many times. My mom got me one way back in like 2001, which is different than this one. So this one is the 20 most horrifying Hollywood murders. So definitely hit up the Dearly Departed website if you want to learn more. Now what we're doing, we're back and Scott has invited us to uh, go into the museum that nobody's allowed to film in, except for us. Under lock and key. Gene Mansfield death car, even though I've shown it before, I'm not gonna focus on it too much, but. Check this out. When we were at the uh, old Desi Loo and we were pointing out those lamps, look what's right behind that picture. So cool. Angeline just gave us a little piece of fabric from one of her dresses. I'm gonna go get my keys, pardon me. Angeline, our local celebrity. Oh, what's this? Something from B. Arthur. B. Arthur drank the entire bottle of absolute vodka in 45 minutes. Good job, B. Arthur. Way to, <laughs> way to pound it down. Now this, a lot of people have asked me, oh, that's so cool. Scott has one of the L's from Liberace's Vegas house, but a lot of people ask me to do the spider pool and it's really hard to get to unless you know somebody. Scott knows somebody and this is part of the tiling from the spider pool. So the family of Joan Crawford acknowledges with grateful appreciation your kind expression of sympathy. And that was uh, Cindy Crawford Jordan, that's uh, one of the twins. For publicity, cigarette they glasses. They weren't from a video, but they were from a personal experience. That she, uh, personal uh, Lady Gaga appearance. glasses. Yeah. So she wore them in an appearance, but there was a, 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 a pair similar to these in a video. Was that? Oh, I hadn't seen this last time I was here. This is really interesting. If you've ever seen the movie, um, well, if you're a Rolling Stones fan, you probably know the story of Brian Jones. There's a lot of weird stories that have kind of been attached to the death of Brian Jones. Um, some say that it was a guy who was living with him actually killed him, but Scott actually has a tile from the swimming pool over Brian Jones. Now, I, I actually preferred the Mick Taylor years, but a lot of people don't consider the Rolling Stones complete without Brian Jones. And look at that, Carrie Fisher cigarette butt. Oh, this stuff is, this is the kind of stuff I love. There's a pic, there's a piece of uh, the tree bark that Mark Bolin from T-Rex hit. He was speeding through uh, a countryside in like a Corvette and I believe hit a tree. And then this one is interesting because it's part of the beehive, piece of the killer beehive from My Girl. And then right down here it says is a piece of the actual Joshua Tree featured on the cover of Joshua Tree by the U2. And that's part of the original H from the Hollywood sign. Exterior of the Morrison Hotel, which we've been to. And then the handles from the drawer in Janis Joplin's death room. Oh wow, look at that. That is a piece of tiling from Valentino and Natasha Rambova's bungalow on Sunset. And then this chunk right over here is actually a piece of uh, the plane crash of Carol Lombard. And then this, this number, is actually the original house number off of Charles Bukowski's 
apartment that I took us to a long time ago. They were actually going to tear down the whole place, the whole building, and um, people started petitioning and they still didn't reprieve it. And so uh, the night before it was supposed to be demolished, Scott was telling us that he hopped over the fence and grabbed the original house number and then the next morning they uh, got a reprieve and they decided not to demolish the place so it's still there the apartment's still there but the house number is now here I'm still just blown away by that piece of tile right there from the pool that Brian Jones died in I'm trying to remember the name of uh, the movie but they made a movie about this story um, I'll, I'll add it right here if you want to go watch the movie um, I think it was called stoned now check this out. This is actually a little figure of George Burns, you can tell. And there's a, uh, it says light switch and cigar from January 29th, 1989 of George Burns' appearance on The Tonight Show. So that's actually one of his actual cigars that he smoked. Now this is pretty special for me because I'm a big Rock Hudson fan. I liked all the Doris Day movies and in fact, when Rock Hudson um, had AIDS, or I mean, he, and it was pretty obvious, but nobody really knew what was wrong with him. They just knew he was sick. He was actually a guest on Doris Day's uh, TV show that she did up where she lives, and uh, and they got. He was the first guest. They got along as well as they always had, and uh, she actually asked him after the interview to please move in with her, and she would take care of him, and he refused it. So this is actually the duvet. Company Comforter that Rock Hudson died on. Of course, he died of AIDS, and then this is the the post from the bed that he died in. And if you look behind there, there's a picture of Rock with a mustache, and he's actually got his hand on the same post. And then this um, is a picture, I believe, maybe not. Um, Rock Hudson was actually married at one point, um, and then, but it was, yeah, that is his wife, Phyllis. Um, he was married for a very short time, and I think they had an apartment or a house on uh, Sunset Plaza, but it didn't last very long. And then here is all the stuff that I donated, all the Ike and Tina stuff. Oh, look at that. John Dillinger death mask. So Red Dick was in my shop, and... Oh, this is so cool. Now, if you don't know the story, Annette Funicello actually ended up marrying a guy who um, was... Uh, used to help on the sets um, and he ended up taking care of her for the rest of her life. I believe she lived out the rest of her days in Bakersfield and uh, or Lancaster, something like that. And this is the actual mailbox from their residence. Now if you look online you can actually see where um, there's little uh, little clips online from her house where people would come to interview her and showing her condition and you can actually see her husband. I believe he was a horse trainer. Um, that's how they knew each other. I believe you can see him walking out and getting mail out of this mailbox. And then right here is uh, some of Annette's clothing. And then this says gun permit. Annette Finicello's gun permit with fingerprint. Oh, and there's what Mac Davis's uh, footprint from the Hollywood Wax Museum that they tore down out of Buena Park. That's so sad. Last time I drove by there, they were literally digging it up now. Oh, look at that. And there is a, a brick from the death house of Humphrey Bogart. And there is a brick from Rosemary Clooney's house. Look at this. It says, a suitcase, not the, that belonged to Charlie Chaplin. It's given to his widow, Ona Neal. Chaplin. Look at that windshield glass from the floor of Jane Mansfield's car. Which, of course, is right here in front of us the actual car. And this is the suitcase that was in the Jane Mansfield car when it wrecked. Take a look at that. It says the last public photograph of Whitney Houston. Look behind her on the telephone pole. And if you look way up there where it's circled, you can see the six that is right above us right here. 
Take a look at that picture of Jane laying in the pool. In the distance, it's Jane Mansfield in her pool. Red, 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 and then with all those little, uh, and this was a semi, those little like figures. And then there's one of the, the real figures right there. About 30 miles an hour. Now I'm back over at the Rock Hudson stuff because I just noticed this on his Rolodex. The name that it's opened up to is Liz Taylor. 4766333. Now, if you don't know, Liz Taylor and Rock Hudson were actually extremely close friends because they had made the movie Giant together. And uh, in the book that Rock Hudson's best friends wrote, it's kind of treated almost like an autobiography. It's, it's because they lived with him. Um, they mentioned in there that he and Liz were such great friends that during the filming of that movie, they actually invented the chocolate martini together one night. I always love to check out the keychains they're selling, and you notice right here, we just did Poltergeist, like what, two days ago, and there's the Quest of Verde Realty, but I went ahead and I purchased the yeah, well, Sawyer we'll Family Barbecue from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Let's go over the project or something. This is the uh, future really, carpet like, mobile. I was like thinking, and then I, he, said, he said it gets about six miles per gallon. <laughs> oh, you, can, you can deal with that, can't you? Six miles per gallon, that's not too bad. Yeah, no. I would have gone broke coming out here. <laughs> How cool is Scott Michaels? How cool.